Uh, we discuss the concept of lower bound at infimum in this video. Let x be a set. The lower bound of x is any number that is less than or equal to every element in set S. Okay? Now, intuitively, the lower bound is seen as a floor that no element of the set goes below. So, that's what I mean by lower bound. And uh, note, a set might have as many lower bands as possible. You know, but the greatest of all these lower bands is what is known as the infimum of the set. It's the greatest of all of them. It is written as the infimum or GLB, greatest lower band. So every set is likely to have what? Uh, likely to have more than one lower band. But the greatest of them all is the infimum. So for you to understand more of this, check in my later video. Uh, we discuss the concept of lower bound at infimum in this video. Let x be a set. The lower bound of x is any number that is less than or equal to every element in set S. Okay? Now, intuitively, the lower bound is seen as a floor that no element of the set goes below. So, that's what I mean by lower bound. And uh, note, a set might have as many lower bands as possible. You know, but the greatest of all these lower bands is what is known as the infimum of the set. It's the greatest of all of them. It is written as the infimum or GLB, greatest lower band. So every set is likely to have what? Uh, likely to have more than one lower band. But the greatest of them all is the infimum. So for you to understand more of this, check in my later video.